this is Diana, and I'm going to recap Amazing Race, Turin, Italy. All right, so the day starts out by all of the teams getting their clue to go to Turin, go to the travel agency, get a flight, and then go to the airport. Mark and Bopper accidentally go all the way to the airport where they run into Art and JJ, and Art and JJ, who have said in previous shows, we're not helping anybody, suddenly feel very gracious to Mark and Bopper and say, hey, you got to go back to the travel agency and, and get your flight there. So Mark and Bopper, who were in the middle of the pack, now end up at the back of the pack and don't get on the same flight as everybody else, and they are delayed an hour and a half. In the travel agency, Vanessa and Ralph start in again on Rachel Riley about her wearing glitter. Vanessa's the kind of girl that made high school miserable for a lot of people because God forbid you be an individual, have your own sense of style, whether it looks good or not to other people, but just be you. If you have ever watched Big Brother the last two seasons, you know that Rachel Riley is a glitter kind of girl. She's very girly. She likes hanging out with girls, painting nails, girly, 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 girly. At the same time, put her in a competition and she will kick butt. Rachel is very competent when she's competent and when she, is, when she feels like, I got this, if you'll notice, when she goes up to a, a task, she'll go, I can do this. When she says, I can do this, she will do it better than anybody. When she says, I can't handle this, she really means she can't handle it, and you're going to watch her fall to pieces. That's Rachel. All right, so Vanessa is her typical catty self, and um, I just got nothing good to say about this girl. All right, moving on. And they get to the roadblock, and at the roadblock, there's a fast forward. Art and JJ go for it. Rachel and Brendan are second there, and they decide to go for the roadblock instead of the fast forward. Rachel repels 120 feet down. You First, you have to run up this huge, long spiral thing that would kill most of us. But Rachel runs right up to this thing, says, I got this, repels right down the 120 feet, beats everybody else out of the gate, Handles it no problem. Of course, Amazing Race spends all of two seconds on this and the rest of the show they spend on her bad moments. But that CBS editing, editing for you because Rachel and Brennan are money gold when they fight for CBS. Okay. Rachel and Brennan out first. Joey Fitness and Danny out second. And the other teams are struggling to repel down. Vanessa has to do it more than once. Um, things like that. Now, they get in their cars, and they go to the next place, which is basically a car museum, all right? And that's where the next clue is. And things start to fall apart for Rachel and Brendan. Now, before this happens, at the very beginning of the show, Dave and Rachel have been fighting incessantly, nonstop. They just don't cry when they fight. Um, but it's just been nonstop bickering for that couple. So being a Rachel is not a good thing today on The Amazing Race. History with Brendan and Rachel. After coming off of Big Brother 13, Rachel heard from lots of people because when they fought, Brendan would go, ugh, like that, and Rachel had to defend the fact that he's never hit her. So she's very conscious of anything he would do that looks like he's raising his fist or anything because she knows the cameras are going to catch it, and she knows that after she gets off the show, she's going to have to hear about people being concerned for her over Brendan. So that's why she was all of a sudden, you raised your fist and that ticked her off because she knows. She knows the reality game and she's been there. What's going to happen afterwards? So she, that put her in a bad mood and that was it. Now, get into the um, art or the automobile um, museum and they have to find a Tin Lizzie Ford and inside it is a clue box and a little clue box has a penny on it. All the teams get there, most of them figure out that the penny, the picture on the penny is where they should go. Brendan and Rachel are too busy arguing to stop and figure it out so they're the last ones there. Now she's just mad and Brendan does the whole, well we should quit, we should quit. Um, there's a lot of dysfunction when they fight, but those of us who have seen them for a couple of years know that they're just going to kiss and make up and be fine anyhow. So, it's, you know, Amazing Race is spending a lot of time on this, but eh, whatever. So, the teams now have to go on to the detour. And the detour is go clean a statue 
or go figure out how to name 5,000 different kinds of sausage and know them by name and taste. Um, the teams that were looking for the statues got a little bit lost. Rachel figures out how to get to the um, detour and then she says it's just two blocks away let's run and go do it. She begins to gain her composure again they start to handle it and as they are taking longer in the task she starts to lose it again. Um, the other teams, Dave and Rachel, continue to fight with each other um, and they get over to the task and it's just snarky mean stuff back and forth between the two of them. Um, Mark and Bopper find the clue at the art museum and move forward but they're still considerably behind everybody else. The only other team that decided to do the sausage detour was Carrie and Stacy and I love CBS editing on Amazing Race or anything because they're just so uh, blatant. They show Carrie and Stacy getting there and then they show Carrie and Stacy finishing like they didn't have to run back and forth 15 times like Brennan and Rachel did. Come on people. The sun was up when they got to the sausage place. The sun was down when they finally got it right. But that's the magic of editing for you. So um, Art and JJ had won the fast forward. They finished way earlier than everybody else. Then the teams that went to the statue started to finish in succession and um, Rachel and Brendan finally finished, pulled their crap together. Um, Carrie and Stacy finished their sausage thing and Mark and Bopper come in last. Now here's the moment of the day that you want to, uh, on Amazing Race that you really like. First of all, Mark is the father of a medically needs child who financially everything goes to the child. I know what this is like, trust me. And um, I know how much emotion is involved in this because I have one of my own. So JJ, who got the pompous jerk edit last week, got a much softer edit this week with being nice to Bob, Mark and Bopper in the morning. And then they come over to the mat. They had won $10,000 to split between them for coming in first place. And because they knew that Mark was racing this race to try to get money for his daughter's medical needs, they gave Mark half of their winnings at the mat. JJ, nice move, class move. Because I'll tell you what, last year the snowboarders won first place time and time and time again. And not once did they even let somebody else who was close to winning come in and get a prize. They always took the prize for themselves. So JJ, I gave you a hard time last week. Nice move this week. I really think that was pretty cool. Mark and Bopper are last, but it's non-elimination leg, and yay, they get to stay in it because I love me some Mark and Bopper. I just, I really do. There was this one moment where Bopper was craning his neck to look at a girl in short shorts, and Mark, Mark was like, I gotta look for it. I gotta look for it. I'm a married man. I can't look at that. I can't look at that. <laughs> so cute. So anyhow, so here's your order of coming in to the pit stop. Art and JJ take first place. Um, Rachel and Dave amazingly arrive in second despite all the fighting. Um, then um, Joey and Danny third place. Roth and Vanessa fourth place. Jerry and Jamie and Neri fifth place. Rachel and Brendan sixth place. Stacy and Carrie seventh place. And Mark and Bobber in last place. But remember, it was a non elimination leg. And the only thing that happened to Mark at the pit stop was that he got $5,000. Thanks for joining me. I'll catch you on next week's Amazing Race Recap. Bye.